Once we are happy with our trained machine learning model, how can we serve up predictions at scale? Find out on this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. Google's cloud machine learning engine enables you to create a prediction service for your TensorFlow model without any ops work. Get more time with your data by going from a trained model to a deployed auto-scaling prediction service in a matter of minutes. So we've gathered our data and finally finished training up a suitable model and validating that it performs well. So now we're ready to move to the second phase, serving those predictions. When taking on the challenge of serving predictions, we would ideally want to deploy a model that is purpose-built for serving. In particular, a fast, lightweight model that is static, since we don't need to do any updating while serving predictions. Additionally, if we want our prediction server to scale with demand, that adds another layer of complexity to the problem. It turns out that TensorFlow already has a built-in function that can take care of generating an optimized model for serving predictions. It handles all the adjustments needed, which saves you a lot of work. The function that we're interested in is called export saved model, and we can run it directly from our classifier object once we're satisfied with the state of the trained model. This will take a snapshot of your model and export it as a set of files that you can use elsewhere. Over time, as your model improves, you can continue to produce exported models in order to provide multiple versions. These exported files are made up of a file and a folder. The file is called savedmodel.pb, which defines the model structure. The variables folder holds two files, supplying the trained weights in our model. Once you have an exported model, you're ready to serve it in production. Here are your two primary options. Uh, you can use TensorFlow Serving, or the Cloud Machine Learning Engine Prediction Service. TensorFlow Serving is a part of TensorFlow and available on GitHub. However, today we will focus our attention on Cloud Machine Learning Engine's Prediction Service, though they both have very similar file interfaces. Cloud Machine Learning Engine allows you to take this exported model and turn it into a prediction service with a built-in endpoint and auto-scaling, which goes all the way down to zero. It's also complete with a feature-rich command line tool, API, and UI, so we can interact with it in a number of ways, uh, depending on our preferences. Let's see an example of how to use Cloud Machine Learning Engine's prediction service with our Irish sample. First, we will run export save model on our trained classifier. This will generate an exported model that we can use for our prediction service. Next, we'll upload those files to Google Cloud Storage. Cloud Machine Learning Engine will read from Cloud Storage when creating a new model version. Be sure to choose the regional storage class and to ensure that your compute and storage are in the same region. In the Cloud Machine Learning Engine UI, we can create a new model, which is really just a mod wrapper for our released versions. Versions hold our individual exported models, while the model abstraction helps route the incoming traffic to the appropriate version of your choice. Here we are in the Models list view, where we can create a new model. All it takes to create a model is to just give it a name. Let's call ours Iris Model. Next, we'll create a version by choosing a name for this particular model version and pointing it to our cloud storage directory that holds our exported files. And just like that, we've created our model. All it took was pointing the service at our exported model and giving it a name. How could it take so little work? Well, the service handled all the operational aspects of setting up and securing the endpoint. Moreover, we didn't need to write our own code for scaling it out based on demand. And since this is the cloud, this elasticity means you don't need to pay for unused compute when demand is low. By setting up a prediction service for our Iris model that didn't need any ops work, we've been able to go from trained model to deployed auto-scaling prediction service in a matter of minutes, which means more time to get back to working with your data. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to catch all the latest episodes as they come out. Also, check out the links at the bottom for a cool talk from the TensorFlow team. And don't forget, when it comes to scaling your machine learning service in production, Cloud Machine Learning Engines got your back. Thanks for watching that episode of Cloud AI Adventures. You can catch the whole series here. And if you have any thoughts and comments, feel free to leave them down below.